Is your shifter linkage pretty loose? Welcome to a new series of videos on how to modify a shifter linkage part 1. Before you start this video, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and click that notification button just to keep you updated whenever I release a new video. So here we have a sloppy shifter. Whenever you put it on gear, you could move it from side to side. It means there is a huge clearance. Upon inspection, I suspect that the shifter linkage is the primary cause of this sloppy shifter. So I'm going to modify and improve it to make it solid like it was brand new. One thing I can guarantee you is that this won't completely eliminate, but will lessen the clearance of the shifter. Here are the tools that you're gonna need. Two 12mm spanners, adjustable wrench, a small and large metal file, a knife, a multipurpose grease, a metal hammer or a rubber mallet. It depends on whatever you have, but as long as you have the metal ones, you're good to go. A setup punch tool. You can substitute it with other tools if you don't have one. A flathead screwdriver, a metal saw, and a C-clamp. First, jack up your car and make sure to put some jack stands. Next, remove the rubber boot which in this case is already broken. I've already sliced it so it will be easier to remove. The linkage is supported by a small C-clamp and a lock pin. Pull the C-clamp out. There is the lock pin. Now grab a hammer and a punch tool or whatever you have. Push it through to remove it. Here's a closer view of that lock pin. The piece expands and that is the reason why it is hard to push through. Next is to pull the linkage. Now grab your two 12mm spanners and remove that bolt. Here's what the shifter linkage looks like. As you can see, it is really in a bad shape. So that concludes the first video of removal of the shifter linkage. Stay tuned for the next video which tackles the disassembly of the shifter linkage. Thank you for watching this video and God bless.